do something about all the puddles. Keep soaking me boots. Ah, Mr. Devlon. How good of you to come. What can I do for you, Madame Bonaire? You are a young man, Mr. Devlon, and I am a very old woman, so let me tell you something of the ways of the world. I'm listening. Wars are not fought with bullets and bombs alone, Mr. Devlon. In order to destroy a society, one must first destroy its culture. Art and literature can become powerful weapons in such a battle. The Germans understand this truth better than anyone. Uh, I'm not sure I follow. Before the invasion, I worked as an art restorer at the Louvre. I have watched in horror as the Nazis plunder our national treasures and defile our cultural heritage right under our very noses. People are getting killed out there, Mom. What's so damned important about a bunch of paintings? Oh, don't play the fool, Devlin. Our culture is the soul of the French people. Without it, this nation will not survive. What do you want me to do about this? A Nazi general by the name of Loder has organized a series of book burnings in Paris. Thousands of rare and priceless volumes have already been destroyed. I want you to put an end to this atrocity. <laughs> Perhaps I'll compose a nasty poem in the general's honor. A bullet in the head will suffice. General Loder deserves no less, I assure you. Good day, Mr. Devlin. Driving a Burst fucking tank. The fires of righteous purity. There will be no place for deviant intellectualism in the new pan European fatherland.
people fighting for you out there. Put some life back in your step. Who do you think is the bell's best dancer? <laughs> When I heard you were back, I prayed that this vendetta of yours was finished. Your eyes tell me it is not. Dierker's still breathing. So what? Would you trade your own life for his? Aye. Gladly. Then you are a fool. Only grave diggers profit from such madness. Jules is owed a debt. I'd see it paid in full. This isn't about Jules! Have you forgotten why you had to flee Ireland in the night? Have you forgotten what happened to your father? You, of all people, know the price of revenge. How much it costs the people we love. I took you into my home. Made a better life for you. You have no right to throw it away. I can't turn away now. I've made my choice. I'm sorry, Vittori. You'll have to live with that. I'm sorry. I'm selling more now than before the war. It's honest work. Who are they? Friends. Renard and his men. They disappeared two days ago. This morning we found them here. What happened? They were preparing for a mission. Renard was caught with a pocket full of detonators. He was a hard man. But he broke under torture and gave the others up. That clown butcher skinned him like an animal. What did you say? The Nazis knew chief of public security. An SS colonel. Before the war, he was some kind of race car driver. Jerker. Yes, that's him. This is his message to the Resistance. What was Renard's target? The siege gun at the Lycée Theater. It's a symbol of Nazi power in this part of the city. The sound it makes is deafening. Every time it fires, the people of Paris lose hope. Then we'll give him something to cheer about. 
I thought you might feel that way. Speak to Brian. Okay. Devlin, it's so good to see you, my friend. Likewise. What's the score? The Nazis have located one of our safe houses in the countryside. A place where we hide the women and children from the Gestapo. They are dialing the house's coordinates into the siege gun. Can you warn them? Nine. There isn't time. Then we'll have to do the job quick. Take these. You're going to need a powerful explosive charge to destroy the gun. Before he pulls the trigger. Nine minuten, bis zum Abschuss.
myself a little time. You make your eyes just... Barely scratch the damn thing. Guarantees the war will end soon. 